Hello and welcome, my name is Stefano, and today we're going to be setting up OpenVPN Server on our ER605 router. Of course, the objective with OpenVPN Server is to enable us to remotely access our machines on our local network. In this case, I'm going to pretend that I'm at a coffee shop remotely, and I'm trying to reach one of my servers here at home. Now, before we go ahead and jump into the nitty gritty details, I do want to let you know that in this current stage of the software, you do not have tunneled internet access. You still have access to the internet, but you will not be using the internet through your home or remote equipment. So if you are at a coffee shop, you will still be using their internet to browse uh, the web, but you will have access to your equipment at home. So on at least at the time of data filming, I am on Obata Controller Software version 5.1.7, and my ER605 firmware is on 2.0.0. Let's go ahead and begin. We've previously made videos covering how to set up uh, your local network. And in this network, I already have my VLANs created, but just to show you guys uh, what we're working with here, let's go ahead and take a look. So if we go to settings, wired networks, and then LAN, you can see that currently only have two subnets. Uh, the LAN one, which is essentially the base one that comes with uh, your setup. And this is, has a VLAN ID of one. And then I have created a second one called local servers and this has a VLAN ID of 10. And note the subnet here is 192.168.10.1. So I have an Unraid server that is living here at my house that is on that subnet, and we are gonna try and reach that remotely, of course. So what we're gonna do from here is go down to settings, we're gonna go to VPN, and we're gonna create a new VPN policy. Uh, you can name it whatever you'd like. I'm just gonna call it SP Studio. We're gonna create a uh, client to site VPN. In the drop down menu here, we're going to say VPN server, open VPN. We're going to set the protocol to UDP. We're going to leave the default port of 1194, but you should know that you may want to change this uh, because default ports are obviously scanned by people on the internet and they will try and use this port to access your network. So changing this is always a good idea. Uh, as far as local networks, we don't want to access the entire network. We just want to access our local servers subnet or VLAN. So that's what we're going to set here. We're going to make sure that's checked. And for WAN, we are going to just select WAN because that is where we um, access our equipment from or allow us to have access to the internet. And for IP pool, something new that uh, OpenV or TP Link has included for us is allowing us to set the IP pool of our VPN to be the same as the subnet we want to access. So this is new as of uh, 5.0.3, I believe. And that's all we need to do. So uh, this IP pool needs to match the local server's subnet that we are, have already created. Hit create here. And now we're just gonna go ahead and export this. Okay, so this gives us an OVPN profile that we can use to import into our remote workstation, phone, whatever it may be. But however, because my equipment, my ER605 router sits behind an existing router, I have to do something special with this configuration and actually edit this text file or edit this as a text file. So. This IP address that you see here, 172.16.1.78, is an IP that my gateway or router from AT&T has assigned to my, my e6 R, ER605 router. Wow, that's a mouthful. And I need to change this to my WAN IP address or the IP address that my ISP has given me at home. So you can simply Google what is my IP address to get this, or you can just use any fully qualified domain uh, those of you who know what that means know what I mean. Um, or you can use your domain name like spxlabs.com. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna type in spxlabs.com and I'm gonna save this. And now I'm going to put that profile on a USB and I'm gonna bring that over to my laptop and then we will do a test connection. Oh, one last thing before we run off and test this. So if you're uh, ER605 router is sitting behind another router like in my situation and you're not doing something called bridge mode or IP pass through, you will have to port forward 1194 to the ER605's um, IP address. So in my case, my ER605, its IP address is 172.16.1.78 and I am forwarding the UDP port 1194 to it and that is what we assigned earlier. Now I can't show you how to do this 
uh, because not everyone's equipment's the same, but I'm sure with a quick YouTube search, you can figure out how to put forward on your router um, at home. Okay, I got the OpenVPN profile put on the USB and that's ready to be imported. But before we do that, I am going to set up my phone's hotspot so I can simulate being at a coffee shop or hotel or really just anywhere. And that way, when I connect my laptop to it, it will get an external IP address that is different from my home network. And that's very important for testing. Right, so I'm connected to my iPhone and now we can check what is my IP address. And it is currently 174.199 blah, 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 blah. So we can ping spxlabs.com. So this is the IP address. If it were to change, it uh, would change to 198.49.23.145. And we're going to see that, that this action doesn't actually happen when we connect to OpenVPN, and that's OK. Uh, so we're going to, I don't know, just quickly browse the internet. And we can get to Reddit. Everything seems to be working. And we are definitely external to my network. And then my server that we're trying to reach is 192.10.2. And this isn't resolving, so that's good. That means we are not currently connected. All right, let's go ahead and import that profile that I just created. So we'll go to profile, browse, and there it is on my USB. Great, uh, the profile is imported, so we're gonna go ahead and connect. Boom, 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 boom. All right, there we go. So we are definitely connected now. Let's go ahead and ask Bing, what is my my IP? And there you go. So it's not changed to that 194 address. It is still different. Uh, clearly, we can get to the internet because if I go to google.com, there you go. Uh, let's try Reddit. So that's clearly working. Uh, and now let's try and ask, access that server I had just mentioned earlier on 10.2. And there you go. We can reach our local server. So we wanted to we could pretty much interact with this however we wanted download files and such uh, and that, that's pretty much it so there you have it I think this was fairly simple and straightforward as far as configuration and all that jazz goes now the only downside is of course that you're when you're browsing the internet at that coffee shop and you're remotely connected to your open VPN server at home uh, the coffee shop or hotel or wherever you may be will still be able to see your internet access because you're not creating a private tunnel between your laptop and your OpenVPN server at home. That may or may not be a big deal to you, but just keep that in mind. So if you're looking for additional privacy, uh, currently at the time of filming with the software versions I previously mentioned, 5.1.7 Omada controller and ER605 2.0.0, a uh, firmware version that is, uh, you don't have that privacy per se while browsing the internet at the coffee shop and connected to your OpenVPN server. But that may change in the future and I'm looking forward to those updates when they roll out. And of course, when we get new versions of the Amano controller software, as well as the firmware, I will be sure to update this video so we can see what changes have actually gone into effect. And with all that being said, I wanna thank each and every one of you for watching, and I wanna thank UTP Link for helping me create this video by sending me the equipment, and I will see you all next time. Cheers.